Hey there Capricorn, this is Renee and welcome back. This is going to be your March 18 to 31 uh, reading. So Capricorn, okay, as I was meditating on your energy, I was steady seeing um, the Two of Swords. So I feel like there's some choices ahead for you. There's something that you need to make a choice on, some kind of decision that needs to be made before you can go any further, before anything can unfold for you. I feel like there's a heavy choice. And I feel like, you know, this choice may be a little hard for you to come to a conclusion of, but I feel like it's very well needed, okay? Okay, let's take a look at your tarot. Let's get more answers for you. Okay, we have the hangman. We have the seven of pentacles and the queen of swords. Okay, we have the ace of wands, the four of swords, and the devil. There you are, Capricorn coming out strong. It seems like when I do your readings, you always come out in your readings. You know, the devil, that's the that's the Capricorn card that represents you. Um, but I feel like Capricorn, there may be something, something that you're trying to decide, some kind of choice you're trying to make. I feel like you're trying to gain a different perspective. You're trying to see things from a different light from a different point of view so you can become more aware more aware of your choices so that you can choose the right option that's available to you okay i feel like you're trying to gain a very um a very hard understanding i feel like you are kind of struggling with this trying to understand where this perspective is leading you you know um very interesting, Capricorn. Now, I do feel like there is some kind of new beginning available. Something that you may be adapting to. Some, some kind of creative venture that you may be ready to pursue. But I do feel like you, you are steady, um, kind of rebuilding yourself. Rebuilding yourself up. Maybe you're reading maybe you're doing um maybe some kind of self-help work maybe you're becoming more spiritual um doing some kind of spiritual work but i feel like you know you are focused you're you're trying very hard to put the focus on yourself because i feel like there's a lot of negativity around you there's a lot of options that are available and it's causing conflu confusion it may be causing confusion in your relationship, in your job, um, pursuing what it is that you want. But I feel like, you know, there is this new beginning that, that's going to occur. You just have to be open and receptive to whatever this is. Okay. We do have the six of cups on the bottom so i feel like something is very familiar to you this may be a situation from the past maybe the tra the past keeps reoccurring in your life um a certain situation keeps coming around see because we have the the nine of of cups in reverse so i, f I feel like there's something that you want to fulfill but you feel like you know it's just not available yet it's not available at this moment. You're just working on creating this, but it feels like it's so far away. Okay? And we also have the King of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like there may be some kind of financial loss. You may be trying to rebuild your finances, trying to restore what has been lost, what, what has been maybe um, gambled away gambled away is what i'm getting so there may be some kind of addiction that you may be going through okay and i feel like it, it's caused a lot of strife and maybe your relationship if you are attached i feel like it's caused a lot of strife it caused a lot of conflict and a lot of confusion 
Um, but I feel like you're working through this issue. You're very much trying to get a better understanding, trying to become more aware of your triggers. Um, so I feel like you are actively working on this, okay? Let's go ahead and get some clarification for Capricorn. Okay, for the Hangman, we have the Nine of Pentacles. For the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Tower. For the Queen of Swords, we have the Nine of Cups. Wow, well, at least this time, this time the Nine of Cups is upright. So we know that that f fulfillment that you're looking for is just around the corner, okay? For the Ace of Wands, we have the Empress. For the Four of Swords, we have the uh, Lover's card. There may be a Gemini in your life. And for the Devil, we have the Eight of Cups. Good to know. You know, there's something that you're leaving behind because you're getting more clarity on your situation. You're, you're finally understanding what your triggers are and how to overcome those triggers, how to move past them and kind of, you know, find a better way. I feel like you're, you've been waiting for a while to feel more grounded and really be able to look in a new direction okay but i feel like that's coming for you because you're actually able to see the end of the finish line you know you are achieving a very big goal you're being able to find happiness true happiness we have celebration and we have the sun this is true happiness here Okay, so I feel like you you are pursuing this. This is coming forward for you. You just have to do the work, do the spiritual work. Okay, do the shadow work. And okay, with the the Nine of Pentacles and the Tower, I feel like you know you're trying to find a well, you're trying to make an independent decision. And I feel like you know. There's no road that seems clear just yet. You feel like the only way out is to have everything crumble, to have everything totally change. So I feel like you are actively looking for these changes. And I feel like that's actually helping you fulfill this feeling of being more satisfied, this feeling of having more of what you need, more of what you want, being more fulfilled. Okay, this tower has to happen in order for this fulfillment to grow. Okay, because there's too much going on here with this Nine of Pentacles. There's, you know, th there may be abundance, but it's not flowing in the right direction. Okay, you want to flow the abundance in the right direction with this Emperor. Empress card and the lovers, I feel like, you know, you are finally coming into this feeling of being totally satisfied, into this feeling of being able to create the kind of love, the kind of choices that are going to be good for you because you feel like you've let go of this negative energy. You're moving away from this negativity. You're moving away from the feeling of being binded, the feeling of addiction, of, you know, something being more important than your fulfillment, okay? And I feel like there's things that you're letting go so that you can let the good things in. And I feel like that's exactly what needs to happen, okay? Okay, Capricorn, let's go ahead and get an outcome. Give me an outcome for Capricorn, please. What does Capricorn need to know? Okay, we have the Three of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the Seven of Swords. Okay, at the bottom we have the Sun again. Okay, so happiness. Happiness is here. You just have to actively pursue it. Okay, and I know that's kind of hard to to understand, but Capricorn, I feel like there's a lot of things that are kind of in your way. Okay, but Spirit is letting you know that you are being supported, you are being protected, and you just need to have the urge 
to find out more information. Have the urge to, you know, pursue this knowledge. You know, the Seven of Swords, this could be someone being sneaky or someone walking away with something that's valuable to you. Someone trying to take away some good energy or good fortune. But I feel like this is this is you trying to find strategies on how to be more supported how to come into this happiness that has been promised to you okay and i feel like you're coming into this strategy into this plan into a better understanding of how and when this happiness is going to arrive okay how and when you are going to feel more satisfied. How and when you are going to feel more at peace. Okay. So I feel like, you know, it's the answers are only within you. Only you are going to be able to come up with this strategy. Because it is unique to you and your situation. But I feel like it is there. You just need to keep moving. Don't give up. Capricorn and follow your intuition. Trust in the divine guidance that's leading you and you will be fully supported. You will be fully supported and um, know that you are not walking alone. The spirit is walking with you. Okay. They are teaming up with you because they're looking for you to have your abundance, to having your ten of pentacles moment. Okay, you just need to listen and take advice from spirit. You know, listen to your intuition. Listen very closely to that inner voice within you because that inner voice is not going to steer you wrong. You know, when you're going into a bad place or you're going into a bad time of your life, spirit is letting you know, you know, you need to move out of this place. You need to move out of this situation. You know, you need to make better choices because this isn't working. You know, listen to that inner voice, Capricorn. It's not going to steer you wrong. Okay, let's get some, let's get some Moonology cards for Capricorn. What do we have for Capricorn, please? <clears throat> okay, we have a fiery climax approaches. And I feel that for you, Capricorn. I feel like, you know, better things are ahead. Things are coming to uh, a climax here. You know, bring love into the situation. Feel the support from your loved ones, from your, your guides, from your spiritual side. Because prosperity lies ahead. Okay? Your prosperity is not only material things your prosperity is also you know the ability to feel happiness gratitude and fulfillment okay so you know keep that in your mind that you know your prosperity lies ahead okay okay now a bunch of cards wanted to come out so we'll go we have a full moon in leo this is your courage Capricorn, go wild. Have courage. Have strength because you are worth it. Okay? And we have a full moon in Gemini. Embrace the flow of life. And new moon in Virgo. Trust all will be well. Okay? So it's going to be okay. You just have to trust that everything is going to work out the way that it's supposed to okay okay let's get some angel cards for capricorn what do we have for capricorn please and i'm sorry i'm losing my voice it's been a long day okay let's get some cards for capricorn okay we have forgiveness there may be a need for you to forgive someone or for someone to forgive you, okay? And I feel like your situation is going to change within the next few months. Things are going to become drastically better, okay? There are some things that you need to let go of, that you need to release. 
So, Capricorn. Okay, let's get an angel number for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know right now? An angel number for Capricorn, please. Okay, we have 1717, self-reliance. Okay, time has come to rely on your knowledge, your wisdom, and your ambition. You have an important soul mission and life purpose. Leaning on your inner strength will allow you more of your path will allow more of your path to unfold ahead. Okay? And your affirmation, as I take leadership of my life, my life brings a flow of good fortune and good blessings. Okay? Beautiful Capricorn. Okay, so that is your reading. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads and i hope this reading helps you capricorn um if it doesn't resonate with you feel free to take a look at your sun moon and rising i have them uploaded in the march playlist so you'll be able to find those easily and until your next reading capricorn many blessings to you love and light